Hello and welcome to a sunny Lakeview Park as Dungannon United Youth take on Carnini in the Subway National League Under 14A section. Both these teams looking to bounce back to winning ways after losing last Saturday. Carnini go into today's game two points above Dungannon in the league table. Now before we take a look at today's action, let's take a look at some highlights from the season so far. NRBFA's TV cameras were at the Junior Stadium to capture what turned out to be an action-packed encounter between Dungannon and Carnini with United running out 3-1 winners. After three decent scoring opportunities, Dungannon's opener arrived on 15 minutes. Matthew Thomas Smith's free kick found Jack Scott, who ghosted in to head home. Dungannon doubled that advantage nine minutes later. Adam McConville was fouled inside the box. Jack Scott's initial effort from the spot was kept out by Daniel McNichol, but Scott reacted quickest to nod in his second of the match. Carnini won a penalty of their own at the start of the second half when James Holland was upended. Unfortunately though for the visitors, Jake White's effort clipped the post and the opportunity to reduce the deficit went begging. Dungannon continued to press at the other end. Olivia Gutierrez brought this fine save from McNichol as United continued to turn the screw. Man of the match, Jack Scott, set up the diminutive Oshin Mullins with 20 minutes to go. Still lots to do. The United frontman's effort went agonisingly close to increasing the home team's lead. And Mullins wasn't finished there. He started this move, again bringing the best from McNichol. Gutierrez and Dungannon were then denied by a combination of Kyle Anderson and the ever alert McNichol in the Carnini goal. The chances continued for the hosts, McNichol proving his worth yet again by keeping out Adam Wright's succulent half volley. To their credit, Carnini got a goal back with six minutes remaining. Aidan Scullion's lob pushed onto the post and Kyle Anderson followed up to make it 2-1 to set up a tense finish. Down at the other end, Jack Scott almost hit the net for what would have been his hat-trick. No, exactly. Uh, disappointed in the result, but uh, pleased with the fight back after coming after a two 0 down. Uh, we missed the penalty, which obviously was crucial at a crucial time. I thought that if we got the scored the penalty, then we could have went on maybe get something out of the game. But uh, all credit to the boys, they, they came back anyway and they got a goal to make it two one and uh, just ran out of time at the end really. Yep, last week we battled hard um, in the face of the team. This week we went out to play football. Um, 
I think we've done that admirably. And uh, there was a lot of good players, good players in the Carnini team as well, I have to say. Um, keeper pulled off a number, number of saves. Um, but we did, did, we worked hard. That was our objective today.